universe is always one step beyond logic. Logic. The natural and healthy channeling of the aggressive instincts in the acts of sensuous violence. Am I in focus? You're right over here, you're in focus. Okay. He's in Indi he's doing raves in India. Yeah, he is. And um, we just decided to take over this club because it's the most amenable club that fits our purposes. So we got DJs on all floors. Where did you what did where did floppies come from? What is what what is what is this? I don't know, is it just like just based on the old English raves or what? No. What it is, well, no, it's just that we found this amazing flop house and we decided to do parties in the East Bay instead of, you know, over here because the police kept stopping us. And uh, we found this, well, I met this guy called Mr. Floppy, who's this really beautiful guy uh, with a very beautiful wife. And um, Beautiful children? Uh, no, they haven't got any beautiful children as of yet. But they're working on it. But, yeah. They soon will be the birth of little floppy. Mini floppies. Mi yeah, little floppy. And then um, he's just a philanthropist, and uh, he gives me loads and loads of money to throw loads and loads of nice parties and put everyone on the guest list. Was well, floppy going to be here tonight? If he makes it back from Finland, he's supposed to be due in around midnight. Uh huh. In time to catch Tim North and the Harvard drum. Cool. But if he's earlier, he'll catch Exterminating Angel. Or if he's later, he'll catch Ashwin Batish. And then, of course, there's Wade and Ram and, Nixon and uh, Elvis and the Amazing Gracelands. Oh, great. Well, Elvis is supposed to come back. I read it in the uh, Weekly World that Elvis is coming back. Well, f Mr. Floppy thinks he might be able to find his remains somewhere. Sort of like the Skull and Bones He's up in Finland right now, digging for the beginning of the world. So I don't get to see him much. He just, you know, he's murder. He's yeah. just really hard. He's worse than me to find. A tough man to find. Okay. Here at Floppy's a DV8, and we're gonna check out floppiness. Take it here.
60s thing? No. It's more like a 70s thing? Yes. Yes, it is more like a 60s thing. No, 70s. It's more like a 70s thing. Alright, so it's a 70s thing, now is it uh, art? No. No, it's not art. Is yeah. it, uh, is it what would it be a happening? Yes, maybe. Maybe it's a happening. Depends. Maybe it's a happening. Now, if it's not, okay, so it's a happening, a 70s kind of happening thing. Now, but is it retro? Retro? What do you mean retro? I mean, is it retro? Is it retro? Is it harkening back to a time in which we were all in our youth harkening back to? What the hell are you talking about? Hey, JFK, that's hard. Sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Check is with Andy Halliday, who is with 
the, com the name of the company is? Horizon Entertainment. Horizon is a division of Edison Brothers stores, and we are the exclusive distributors in the United States and North America for the virtuality, uh, virtual reality system. Now, are you the uh, the genius behind it? No, no. In fact, the genius behind it is Dr. Jonathan Waldern, and uh, he's based in Leicester, England. And W Industries, his company, is the company which designed and developed this system. Great. So is this the first time it's been here in San Francisco? Yeah, this is, uh, in fact, one month after the inaugural date in the United States. And this touring show has been on the road for that month. Oh, cool. We've had thousands and thousands of people through the system, and we've gotten a high level of attention in every city we've gone. Excellent. Yeah. It's tripped out. It looks yeah, like a total, it's like mine. Yeah, we now, can see what's happening here tonight. Yeah. People are just into it in a big way. Now, did you get into it because you like video games or what? No, actually, I'm not much of a video game player, and although this has a game quality, to it, it's, it goes way beyond a video game. You are literally inside a new place. You are a cybernaut. You go into a new world. You venture into it in a way that you never do in, in a regular video game. Cool. Well, it looks like totally mind-blowing. It is. So where are you going to set these things up? Are you selling them to clubs or what? Well, uh, I think that uh, DV8 is showing tonight that uh, this is an excellent kind of attraction for this this crowd. And um, I think clubs are a great place for it. We'll also see a number of these units put together in dedicated simulation centers where you'll go to do interactive experiences and um, it's really limited only by your imagination what can be applied it looks like a trip and a half because you yeah, know i remember going to those game places where you used to go in and get the uh, the helmet and the gun and run around the mazes like photon for example yeah yeah that was sort of like the granddaddy of this huh? well it's really a totally different technology that's that's something that is um, I mean, unrelated to virtual reality, which is a technology using head track, head mounted display, and magnetic tracking to uh, generate computer generated images directly to your eyes that correspond to the intuitive way that you look at the real world. Unlike, really unlike uh, uh, an interactive experience like Photon because of the, uh, the variety of experiences that can be generated by the computer. Sounds like a trip. Yeah. Sounds like a definite trip. Well, good luck with it. Well, thank you very much. I hope to be playing with it soon. You will. Myself. You'll stay here. You bet. All right. Dig it. Thank and you. A virtual reality for reality check. That's what it's got. It. Like. Okay. Thanks All for right. Thanks cool. for coming. All right. Thanks a lot. Good luck with it.